let's start uh, our new session about uh, the view in GVSIG and uh, let's start from how to load a vector geographic data. We have already seen how we can divide the, the main window of GVSIG, we have title bar, menu bar, tool, main window and status bar and inside the main window we have the project manager you see here and uh, in GVSIG all the activities are located in, in a project and every project is made up of different documents. The project manager manages all these documents and in GVC there are four main document types, the views, the tables, the map and the charts, plus several uh, plugins uh, and among them map sheets for example. So which are the documents in GVC? Uh, let's see some more details. The views are documents in which we work with graphic data. The tables are documents in which we work with alphanumeric data, with information. Maps are documents in which we combine the different geographic elements to be included in a map, the view, the legend, the scale, which can be printed or exported as PDF or PS. We have as well map sheets, this is a, a plugin, where the maps are arranged in series according to user preferences for size and extension. Uh, we publish a dedicated video about this extension and charts are the documents in which we create graphs from loaded tables to be exported or inserted in maps. So, so how we can create and open a view? We click on this, we click new, then the view opens and then we can rename. We just click on rename, open this small window, we type my name then OK and as well we can edit the properties of the view. By clicking here there is this view, this uh, window that opens. I can add also from here the name. I can insert some information like for example the projection system, the reference system. And we see how we can work that uh, here I can define the the projection of my view. By default, as we have seen in the preferences, we can define a, a default uh, current projection, but uh, it does not mean that I cannot change uh, my view projection. I can as well change from here, then if I want to, to change the setup of preferences, I can flag this and my new projection will be set as default uh, system of uh, my GVC uh, software. You see how we can do, it's a, just to say again how we can manage this uh, reference system. We click here and here we select EPSG and we have seen before, if I have already used some reference system, we have in a recent one, otherwise I can add a new one. In the same three methods we have seen before, I can search by code, by name or by area. First of all, I would like to tell you that it's a very good idea to save a project in order to reload uh, in a later moment. And I save from here, File, Save Project. I will save uh, with the name, Introduction GIS, for example. And uh, what is very important, when you save a project, this project saves as well the location of the files you have loaded. So if you move one file that is included in the project from one folder to another, then the software will ask to define the new location of the file. Then I open my view, I can double click here or just one click on open. And this is my view. Let's see what is the main element. We have a TOC, the table of contents, where the geographic layers are loaded and listed. We have the geographic view, where the loaded geographic layers are visualized. And we have the locator where the loaded geographic layers are framed in a larger and well known context, and we will see this with more detail. Now I want to add a layer, and how can I do? I click from here, view add layer, or as well, I can click on the icon from the toolbar, or as well, I can add a layer from right click in table of contents, and here see. We have this window, and just for this uh, 
the course I will select file then add and then you see I have all these uh, folder and uh, layers in my computer folder and here are all the extension or the file extension I can use I can leave all supported or select shape file for example then just click on my layer I open then I click on properties let's see why I have to click on properties because here I have to define for example my projection system because my layer can be in the same reference system of my view or it can be a different one if it's a different one here I can type the system reference of my layer in order to be loaded in the correct way in my view as well here I can check the let's say the local the coding uh, of the table and we'll see them more in detail with the, the course about uh, tables so then I have loaded some layers and uh, let's see what is the difference if I leave it empty it means that it's not act not active and not selected here in this case is active and select you make it this bold let's say it is not active but selected remember that most of the actions of gvc are made on selected layer so how i can select if i want to select a layer i just left click on it on it or shift or control and more than one click and one or more layers become active and selected as well so you see this is a general overview of my view with the zoom of the western part of Africa and what I can do I can as I told you before is a right click sorry on this to select with the left click I open a contextual menu that show me several options then we'll see one by one during these courses and my suggestion is always order points line and polygon in order not to be covered that otherwise if i put polygon on top polygon will cover line and poly and points usually this order is already automatic if i set in the preferences the smart order we've seen in the previous video Let's speak about locator. Why sh we should use a locator? A locator is used to have a better and faster idea of the location of the features shown in the view at any zoom level. And what are the requirements of a locator? A locator should have an extension equal or bigger than the features in the view. For example, if you work with Ecuador, Ecuador, locator can be South America. This is the example I'm going to show you. You see here I load the South America as well as Ecuador in my view then I go on view locator setup I add the layer it is the same window I have when I load a layer in the view I add South America I click OK then you see that here I see South America with the small square according to where locator is where the view is let's say so this small square represent my geographic view in a larger uh, area so it's very useful because maybe you know where is south america but maybe you don't know where exactly at ecuador so in this case it's very easy for you to detect identify where ecuador is And you see that if I zoom, moreover, I zoom inside the area, maybe I don't know what is this area. In this case, I can easily frame it in a well-known environment like South America. And in the locator, if I left click and pan in the locator, the view extension will be newly centered, keeping the same extension. So there is a, a link between the view and the locator. And if I right click, user defines the extension of the view using the locator interface so I define my extension on the locator and the geographic view will be linked automatically so now we can load geographic data zoom and select feature for a better visualization will be next step keep in touch